Hi guys, I'm Danny from Hootie's Tactical, and here today I'm going to discuss with you three new plates. Starting from this side, this is the Level 3A flat uh, plate used for backpacks. And this is great if you want a peace of mind as a parent for your kids, or if you want to slip it in you know, your backpack for safety when you're traveling. Uh, the dimensions are 10 by 12, it's 1.2 pounds in weight, and it's made of the same material, polyethylene, as this level 3A ballistic plate. So the ballistic result will be exactly the same as this plate. Next, we have the multi-curve ballistic plate, level 3A. And this plate is 1.2 pounds, the same weight as the flat backpack plate. It's also the same dimension, 10 by 12. So this is multi-curve, and it's much more comfortable for wears in the center of your body. And now we have the third plate, which is the level 3A 11 by 14. It's in 1.5 pounds in weight. And this is primarily used for people that are bigger and taller um, in the center of their body. This is made of also the same material, polyethylene. So it will produce the same results as this one here. This plate was independently tested by NTS Chesapeake using six rounds of 44 Magnum. There was no penetration for any of the bullets and if you want to see further information, you can check out the reports and pictures. Next, let's actually go over our test that we did recently. As we can see, uh, we shot 10 rounds of eight, nine millimeter, and out of those 10 rounds, seven or eight of them were centered in the middle about an inch apart from each other. If we look at the back of the plate, we can see that there is no penetration um, on the plate. And in terms of the bulge that happened, it was only about an inch long in depth. You can see on the back here, there was a little bit more of a deformation, but this was only because the bullets were shot at the very bottom of the plate where there wasn't any support behind it. Hey guys, I'm Danny with Hootie's Tactical, and we're out here in the desert testing out the Level 3A ballistic plate. We're going to be using a 9mm PC, and we're going to be firing... Uh, one full magazine round, about 10 shots, and let's see what happens. All right, here we go. All right, so as we can see down here, uh, the bullets uh, pierce right in the middle here, and the uh, we're, we're testing basically the uh, um, how much impact is in the back uh, on the body. So uh, let's take a look and see how the plate did. So here you can see the back. Um, there was some uh, deformation, but it didn't actually pierce through the plate itself. Um, and if we look at the, the clay, you can see that there was a little bit of impact, but again, the bullet never actually went through. Um, so the plate held up. All right. Ready? Yep. All right, so we fired a few more rounds and we can see here that the, uh, the plate, the bullets went uh, left, uh, upper and to the right. And on the back, we can see that uh, again, the, the bullets never went through um, the, the ballistic plate, but there was uh, a little bit more impact. And uh, if you look at the clay in there, you can see that there, there is a little bit more impact on the side, but, but again, it you know, didn't actually go through um, the plate itself. So, looks good. So, as we can see, this was a, a full magazine uh, uh, clip here, and all of the uh, bullet holes, none of them went through the back of the plate. So the uh, level 3A uh, ballistic plate held up with the whole magazine. And the last thing I wanted to point out was that there was a bullet that was hit right at the, uh, the very edge of the plate. And the plate did have a lot of uh, you know, bending and deformation here but it, it actually didn't go through the back of the plate. So it actually absorbed the impact and uh, you'll just see a little bit of, of bending, but 
no no complete deformation through the plate.